Lamb, you made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He told me where I'm from. And where I must go. So now you know the truth. I'm not his son. I'm just a weapon. That is the furthest thing from the truth. You were brought into this world with love. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. I don't know how to feel. I've spent some of the happiest days of my life here. And some of the worst, too. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the Puppet King if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's... gone... I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. On Naxos I could forget. It was as if I had locked Sparta in a box and tossed it to the bottom of the sea. Did you put memories of us in that box? I wanted to, but it would have taken all the wood in the land to build. <laughs> Easy now. Come on, come on! This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Alexios, wait. You shouldn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. The Agogi is what turns boys into men. Interfering would only weaken them, weaken Sparta. They're no good to Sparta if we leave them to die. And they're no good to Sparta if they're too weak to kill a wolf. Come, let's go home. There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules, and they are still <laughs> Slaves? Why don't they revolt? The Spartan fields keep them fed, and Sparta
but the warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most, not all. I never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. This was the first and last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaus was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me he is going to bring glory to Sparta. Uh, as much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day, but for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your sister? <laughs> I was scared I'd break her. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held her so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of her. She turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos's disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? Oh, I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamos. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens, but they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurotas. So, I find the soldiers, then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Ilotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. <laughs> the last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. So... To get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done.
And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. Grandfather was a true hero. Maybe one day, they'll sculpt a statue of me. Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. So, our blood is the blood of kings. You are so much more than a mercenary. You carry the blood of heroes, blood of power. Remember what I told you? That people would try to take that power for themselves. And then you promised. I wouldn't let them. Hold out your spear. This talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war. The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas, the days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. Divide the Pythia and everyone you love. Everything you stand for will perish. Gather the men. My king? Xerxes wants Sparta. You have to go through me. Incredible! Now do you understand? What must I do? It's time we embrace our destiny, both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late, then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. Well, well, well. Mother and son united in Sparta at last. And look at you, a god and goddess among mortals. King Pavsanias, we're honored. I was sorry to hear about your father. Yes, our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Alexios, my king? Who could forget? The boy who died to save his sister. Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient merciless law. Ancient and merciless. Most Spartans live and die by these laws. But you sound more... progressive. 
And you sound like you've been rubbing elbows with Athenians. I've been to a symposium or two. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. But King Archidamos, if he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. I've spent my whole life looking over my shoulder. If Sparta is to be my home again, I'd rather it be a peaceful one. <laughs> Peace at what cost? When Spartans aren't killing, they're training to kill. And when they're not killing Athenians, they're declaring war on their own people. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamos, however, still hasn't forgiven you for the whole nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Hillot rebellion and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Savagely killing Hillots, stealing livestock and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. The Kreptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Once. But the Kreptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. And where would I start looking for these Kryptia? One can be found in the fort on Zarax Point. Another was assigned to guard the Spartan leader's house. The third is more elusive. He was last seen in one of the villages west of Hilot Hills. He's definitely the loudest of the three. My mother spoke to me about these Kreptia. What can you tell me about them? They are the hidden ones. Hand-picked at an early age, starved and trained in isolation. They must steal and kill to survive. If they succeed at their training, they become the king's guard. But why have me killed them? For years, the Kreptia kept the peace between the Illots and Spartans. Troublemakers and threats among the Illots were dealt with. But lately, these Kreptia have been killing men, women, and children without reason or mercy. Babies ripped from their mothers and fed to the wolves. The Kreptia have become a breeding ground for ruthless savages. Is there anything I should know about King Archidamos? Traditional, brutal, boring. Archidamos values the old ways over the welfare of his people. He sided with the elders that day on Mount Taietos. If killing Kryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. Some Macedonian guy is trying to sell us longer spears. If Archilamos believes in the old ways, won't killing his Kryptia create conflict between him and Bosonias? I miss Kefalonia sometimes. Life was simple, even if Marcos was a bumbling idiot. There you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. I have a few things to take care of first.
found them. This is the marble quarry Brasidas mentioned. Found him. They'll keep a sharp watch here. somewhere there's only one spot in here that I need to kill it'll be easier if I don't alert the others They have gone.
Where's that coming from?
One down, four to go. That's two. Time to find the others. Weapon racks destroyed. Won't take much longer. <laughs> Only one more to go.
Ready to meet the kings? What do I need to know before I go in? Ah, that's right. You've never had an audience with the two kings. I've met Pausanias. King Papsanias. Ah, really? Kings Papsanias and Archidamos share rulership. Impress them both, and your home will be returned to you. I didn't expect this to be pleasant. What should I know about Archidamos? Archidamos is a traditionalist. Not one to back down from a fight. He's also got a temper. Try to stay on his good side. What can you tell me about Pasanias? He's young. Don't mistake his smile for kindness. As with all kings, those who cross him learn to regret it. I have a few things to take care of first. Ella. Huh. 
Come on. Let's hope no one notices me here. Almost boring. Look you. You're 